Hello EV fans, welcome back to EV's gallery. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a shockingly good update. So today we are going to talk about Dongfeng Nissan Venusia VX6 rolled off the production line in Guangzhou last week. The compact SUV is the brand's first car based on a dedicated electric vehicle chassis named VPI, first used in the V-concept vehicle. The concept was presented last year at the Wanzhou Auto Show. VPI was first presented in May. It comprises two cell-to-chassis technology an X in one integrated electric drive, a highly efficient coupled thermal management system, a front double wishbone, a rear five link suspension, and an 800 volt power battery. Venetia applied for the SUV sales permit in July when more data on the car were released. VX6 sits on a 4658 by 1890 by 1656 mm chassis with a 2850 mm wheelbase. The powertrain has a 160 kW motor and a contemporary Amperemax technology calls lithium iron phosphate battery. The maximum speed of the electric car is 165 km per hour. The electric SUV is the second model by Venusia. In July, Venusia launched its first PHEV model, V Online. The SUV is built on the JV's dedicated PHEV platform, DDI. The car is sold for 118,900 to 149,901. It offers 60 km and 110 km in the electric mode with a combined range of 1,132 km. Malaysia is a car mark of Dongfeng Nissan Passenger Vehicle Company, a Dongfeng Motor Co. Limited subsidiary. The mark was launched in September 2010 by Dongfeng Nissan. From February 2017 until the end of 2020, Venusia was spun off from Dongfeng Nissan as a Dongfeng Motor Corporation Limited subsidiary named Dongfeng Venusia Motor Company. In December 2020, Dongfeng Motor Co. Limited announced it would merge Venusia into Dongfeng Nissan. In August, the brand's first PHEV sold 2,121 units. Since it went on a sale in July, the SUV sold 3,524 units. In the past two months, it outsold the brand's best seller, Venusia D60 EV. The electric car sold 2,583 units in July. In August, the brand's total sales were 6,238, 13.4 percent less than in August last year. So please let us know your thoughts about the news in our comment section and don't forget to like the video and make sure to have a nice day.